Welcome back to the channel guys. In this episode we will be learning about a vulnerability called no session expiry after logout. So uh, this vulnerability comes under E4 category uh, but if you can find it on sensitive input fields like password change, email change or payment options uh, we can uh, escalate the P4 to P1, P2 or P3. So to understand uh, how this vulnerability works uh, we have to understand that when we update any kind of data the uh, in our profile the web application sends a post request to the server so if we intercept the post request and send it to work repeater and if we log out from the account ideally an application should kill that session and no updation can should no addition should have been uh, occurred uh, from that post request but sometimes uh, some some application are misconfigured or mis uh, misconfigured or uh, have faulty code in them uh, through which after logout the session gets alive and uh, stays alive and we can manipulate data from that request so to explain what i'm talking about let's uh, just edit the profile a bit like if, if we set the nickname to ransom and we go to word proxy we make intercept on you can see that this is the post request uh, the nickname is ransom so let us send this to repeater and we turn off the proxy let's check if our uh, data is updated yes so our data has been changed from ransom 1 to ransom so if we log out from the uh, account ideally every every application should uh, kill this session and we should not be able to update any data from this uh, from this request but in this case if we uh, change the uh, nickname from ransom to ransom hat and then forward the request you can see we are receiving a 200 response so if we log in to our account we can see that the data is changed and it is ransom hat so uh, this is the scenario in this case in this particular case uh, it is a p4 vulnerability because it, the nickname is not a sensitive uh, sensitive part of an account but if if this vulnerability is present in a uh, in an application where we can manipulate the password or change the email then it will be considered as p2 or p3 uh, it will be de uh, depending upon the program as well so uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, if you have if you face any kind of problem just uh, let me know in the comment section i will be glad to help you uh, so i hope i see you in the next video bye bye till then